presidential runoff in Peru between left-wing candidate Pedro Castillo and right-wing Keiko Fujimori. We're now joined live by human rights activist Dan Kovalik in Pittsburgh, United States. Thank you, Dan, for joining us today. Thank you. Thanks for having me. What are the main issues Peruvians will be considering when deciding how to cast their votes today? Well, they have a very stark choice between um, Castillo, who's a left-wing candidate, a socialist who wants to do more for the poor, who wants to reject the neoliberal order that has ruled uh, Peru for so long. He wants to uh, end uh, U.S. Um, um, intervention and involvement in Peru. Um, and so uh, a vote for him really would be a vote uh, for the left tide that is making a huge comeback in Latin America. On the other hand, of course, you have Fujimora, um, you know, who is trying to carry on the legacy uh, of her father, who was an ultra right wing leader who carried out a dirty war against leftists in Peru, who uh, made Peru a haven um, for neoliberalism. Uh, under his watch, uh, the poor got poorer and the rich got richer. And one can expect that uh, she will largely carry forward those types of policies. So, so you have a real stark decision here. And things are said to be extremely polarized in the country right now. Why is that the case? Well, again, because you do have a real choice here. You know, in many elections, like in the U.S., for example, it's a choice between two pretty similar people who aren't going to change the system much. Here you do have, have real differences between these candidates. And, uh, you know, it's really a vote between those who want change, progressive change, and those who want to maintain the status quo. And so uh, you do have uh, uh, real divisions here. And I think this will come down to the wire. Yeah, right. Uh, no one how will have expected that this teacher, Pedro Castillo, will be leading in the polls for the presidency. Why do you think he was able to gain the support of the voters? Well, again, I think precisely because he comes from the ranks of the working class, I think people are ready for change in Peru. They're ready for a progressive uh, like him to uh, take over Peru after years of neoliberal rule which again has ravaged the working class, has ravaged the poor, and they see him as a real alternative. And Castillo has received support from Evo Morales in Bolivia, from Lula da Silva in Brazil, and other important leftist leaders around Latin America. How important this election uh, it is for the region? I think this election, all these elections are important because you know, you had the so-called pink tide that came to power after Chavez was elected in, in Venezuela in 1998. That uh, pink tide had largely been beaten back uh, very much by interference by the United States. But now you see uh, leftists, even communists, being elected in Chile. You see a progressive government in Argentina. You see Venezuela holding on, and, and Danielle Ortega in Nicaragua holding on. Um, so I think there is, uh, this election is important to show that the pink tide continues and the US, that the U.S. cannot continue to hold back uh, the progressive movement in Latin America. Thank you so much, Dan. We appreciate your time and I hope we can talk a little more next time. Absolutely. Thank you. Appreciate you. Thank you.